Anderson. I'm doing just trying to keep everything moving for you and, and myself and life and family and everything but I want to tell you something that 125 that we're about to look at right now there's a lot of tuning that goes on in this video like it's a it's a one jet carburetor so I tune it a lot but I it's important at this in this juncture at this at this video to listen to the power saw listen to like it's one jet. So as you open it, it gets fatter. As you turn it in, it gets leaner and the saw gets crisper. But these were a saw that you couldn't, it was a hard time blowing them up. Let's just say it was a hard time blowing them up. Tuning it, very difficult. That's why I love finding them with one jet carb. Because nine times out of 10, they've been okay. So I looked inside, it's beautiful. But this is a great video. I tune it, we get it running. We stick it in the wood. So I just want to share these moments with you. Enjoy, friends. So friends, I've already gone through this once. Like this whole thing I go through right now, I've gone through it once already. The carburetor is starting to settle, soften up and let fuel travel through its passages more properly now.
So it goes to a spot where, did you hear it? It just goes whack! And that's right on the cusp of where it's too lean and it won't idle. That's that single jet. But if you crack it a little more, it 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 loads up. It, these things, did you hear it? <laughs> so, If you have, if you're a power saw enthusiast and you've run big saws, you know, um, I've run pretty much all the big saws out there and there is nothing, nothing comes close to that right there. You, the thump these things have friends like seriously like the red one's got a scored piston whatever i don't know what the what the cylinders like i haven't gone in that far yet but we picked this up off a of fella uh north island uh fedgy was the big big contractor here fedgy and gunderson uh but friends y y you haven't experienced power and and pull but uh regardless you you that one's cooked and where they go is they go on the bottom side of the piston okay and i'll show you where i've seen this I've, I've seen it been around them long enough to know uh here's one right here that's down i'm looking here maybe if i move it you'll see it it's really bad yeah look at that look at that roasted the ring right right off it Okay, it's on again on the muffler on the bottom, right? On the hot side, so to speak. Okay, because the cool side would be up here where the fins get at it. Isn't that interesting, friends? I'm so so happy because we give them some dough, not a ton, not a ton, but it was, you know, you hope, and that 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 you get something. So what old Billy Ray will do is make sure that one of these carburetors is working good. These double jets. Some of these ran good with a single jet carb, friends. They did. These were a big saw. They were meant for digging the dogs in a big tree and slaying down on her. The saw don't weigh nothing when it's in the bar, in the wood. It weighs nothing. People used to ask, how can these guys pack these things around all day? Well, if they're in the wood, you're just packing them from tree to tree. Bear Club, this guy that I bought these off, today, the guy's 5'5", five, five, 160 pounds. You didn't need to be a big man. Uh, you know, a big man, uh, Bear Claw's not a big man. You've seen him on the videos. He rode these for years. He rode these saws. I am happy. I am happy, friends. We, we, we bonused out here, okay? That's what I call a bonus. So what I was going to say, if you ever get the opportunity, if you ever get the opportunity to get your mittens across one of those, uh, they are, just in one man's opinion, they are the biggest, meanest, beautifully made. They were made for a faller. I can guarantee somebody at the factory of McCulloch in the 60s and 70s was a faller guaranteed because the way they put these things together with the with the the anti-vibe and the way they did it with the mounts on the tank there friends the, the 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 grip everything about them 
it, it just feels in your hands. Like these things will kill the own I know. Kill them. I ran own I know and it's just shit. I had two beautiful own I knows. If you go back on the video, <clears throat> I ran right in this field here. Um, double header on, a, on an Alaskan mill. It was a blast. We cut, I think we were cutting our butis that day. Me and the farm boy, Jamie Haslam. James, how are you, buddy? I hope well. So, but, but we run, and, and, and the O9 knows that they rattle your freaking hands to pieces. They rattle you, they rattle you up too much. Big time. Rattlers. And, and these saws beat them. They beat them. Yeah. We should get an O9 O. Get Robbie with an O9 O, and I'll get one of my 125s out. This one runs good. Really good. Anyway, friends, if you, if you like big saws, even if you well, you know, if you don't, you're not going to run one. Listen, d don't 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 dream about it. Go somewhere, get on one of these things at a buck and stock. Come to a buck and stock. We'll get some one twenty fives there, and you get your hands on one. <laughs> They're like riding a tractor. They are beautiful. They're lovely, lovely saws. So we got another one here that's good. We got some other ones here that are <clears throat> well. The other one's not so good. So. Even for what I paid, we, we got a, a good deal for what I paid. So it's good. Anyway, friends, I'm, I'm tickled. As you can see, I've been all over. I just wanted to get a good muffler on it, which I did. And uh, I'm ready to cut. We'll get a bar and chain on that sucker and we'll cut. And the thing with Mac is you'll notice the guy that was a, was a, was a true Mac guy. He's got, you'll notice, yeah, that one's got it too. You, you get these little plates here that like this guys will use four plates you see so you can stay off your bars you can run a husky bar if you do that huh eh? over now friends hop on a mac shaking the whole truck <laughs> now there was one thing i thought i might do before we get going friends and don't see what I'm after. Oh, yes, I do now. There it is. I just want to quickly. I'm just going to give her a little boat action here. Hey, leave. Get away. Go away, bug. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not sharp. I'm not gonna go down there cutting dolls. No, I'm just not into it. This is, this is skip tooth, friends. Skip tooth chain. My brand new 125 that Donnie Walker uh, found for me. And I think it, I think it's good. The other one I got was burnt. The piston's burnt. So if you got a piston for a 125 or nowhere to get one, let old Buck and Billy Ray know. I do like my skip tooth for this very reason. It files up very quickly. Best power saw in the world right here. Best big block power saw hands down in the world. Ever, ever, ever. I bet you if you did a poll. The Max would take it. I will bet you lots of people would be on the own I know. But then if you gave them a 125 to run, it would have to be for people that have ran both. Because if you've never run a 125 Mac, you wouldn't understand. You can't just biasly say the own I know is a, is a, a stronger saw because it most definitely is not.
keep falling on my head. There's my workbench if you're wondering what I said. It's about time we ran the one, two, five. The legendary saw that everybody's heard about. Don't let yourself not have the clarity in your life to run a Mac, a one, a two, a five. A. We're going downtown. Friends, behold the 125 on the Magalak, 125. This is where I get into tuning it. It's the first time I've ever run the saw, friends, okay? And this is it. This, this is what it's about. This is tuning in the wood. So I cut. It sounds like terrible. It's so fat and rich. I tune it a bit, bring it up, bring it up. And this is very interesting stuff. This might even help you in your journey of tuning your power saws in the wood. Check this out.
<laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So, that's like a scarfed up old chain. This thing pulls. <laughs> These things are nuts. They, they blow me away. They blow me away. Wow. What an amazing flower saw. <laughs> okay, hang on a sec, friends. I just want to check something. coming this is this couldn't have went better friends this could not have went better this thing is ripping we're going into the bunker the rains hit it's a beautiful clean saw the bottom mount is worn a little bit right there uh, it might even ju just be loose well I know it does that but amazing friends We're gonna run the 500. I may come up and blah, there's, there's a hanger we gotta get to and, and that for her firewood. So that's what we're doing. We're just straight up bucking some firewood. We're just gonna rip through it. So uh, here's the 500. I, I just put a fresh, a, a fresh grind on it. Should be, should be fairly good. 
It's it's a nice song. I mean, let's be honest, friends. It is a nice song. Boom. What did you think of that? Friends, when someone asks me about what's my favorite power saw, it's so simple. Snap. Just like, Buck, and what's your favorite band? Well, we know it's Led Zeppelin and the 125. The, the Mac 125 is my favorite saw, hands down. No problem answering that question. It's an amazing piece of machinery. Anyway, friends, listen, stay tuned for this next video. We do a bit of bucking. It's still hot, but we did a little bit of bucking for a gal who's behind on her firewood, an old friend from school. Tina, we love you. Thanks for watching, Tina. I know you're watching. Um, but friends, buckandbillyray.com for any of your goodies. We got a new shirt out. You friends asked for the Myrtle shirt. The old pickup, well, we've delivered, and it's a dandy. Pop into the website, buckandbillyray.com, for all your merchandise goods. We appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you all so much for watching. Do the thumb thing. Too bad they didn't have a sideways one, because if you weren't sure, you could just go like that. That would be kind of nifty, wouldn't it? I think so. Click the bell, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. Most of all, be kind to one another. See you on the next one.